Hey there everybody, welcome back. Today I'm gonna to be replacing the upper trim bushings on my Mercury Optimax outboard. It's really a fairly inexpensive fix. It's just these little bushing, bushings from Mercury that have fallen out of there at some point in time. So today we're gonna to take this off and replace those. There's a guinea on the roof of my shed right now. We have guineas in with our chickens and he's climbing all over the place. So I apologize if there's some noise throughout this video. A few tools we're gonna to need before we get started. A 5 16 wrench. Um, I think actually being it's mercury, it's probably a 10 millimeter or whatever that would be, eight millimeter. Um, but a 5 16 works to take the trim sender unit off. You will need a new bushing. They look like this, or just a real thin little metal piece that goes in there. You will need a new trilobe pin, which is going to be the hardest part of this whole thing is removing and inserting that. And you'll need some red Loctite. So to get started, the first thing we're going to do, we're going to trim the outboard all the way up. You can see I've done that already. I've engaged the safety on the other side so that it doesn't come down when we release our trim here. Before we get underneath there, let's unhook our trim sending unit. There are two 5 16 bolts, one on either side. Simply loosen those. and your sending unit will pull away. Set that to the side, and we're ready to continue with the rest of this process. Now right here is that trilobe pin I was talking about. This is what holds the rod inside this, inside this uh, housing here. And we need to remove that to replace these bushings. So what I'm gonna do here is start out with a screwdriver. Try and try and tap up under that to get it started. There are actually two ways you could remove this trilobe pin. Number one is trying to pull it out like I'm attempting right now. There, got it started. The other option, if you can't get it going like this, is you come over here on the port side of the rod that runs through here and take a punch and a big hammer and smack the heck out of that thing and you'll actually break this pin off and then you just clean the, the pieces off either end here. Um, if I can continue keeping this going like this, I'm gonna pull this out the back so I don't have to mess with that. But that's an option if you can't get it going like this one and hopefully seems to be. Oop, there it came. That was easier than I thought. Here's what it looks like out. Now if you're, if you're not resting on your safety, you'll probably have to do that here. Once you get that rested on the safety, this rod should be loose. If you're replacing an existing bushing and you need to drive the old one out, a socket that fits inside that hole would work pretty well just to tap that out of there. Mine happens to be a 13 millimeter that fit pretty well. I checked it on the other side where the bearing bushing was missing. Sorry, I know I'm kind of blocking your view there, but the bushing is out. You can see the old one that came out of there. Probably would not have needed to replace it, but since I got another new one, might as well. Before we install the bushings, we're gonna go ahead and apply a real thin film of Loctite Red all the way around. This is a bit messy to do, have a rag handy. These are metal, so they won't hold this very well, but do the best you can. And we're going to be very gentle with that inside. I don't want to scuff that up or ruin that inside coating. So once we have the red on there, spread it out nice and evenly if you can. Then we're ready to put our bushing in. 
Now, unfortunately, I don't think there's a good way for me to do this without blocking you, but I'll do my best. I sort of put this bushing up here and it's just Just enough interference there to hold that in. Now I'm going to take that same. Now I'm going to take that same socket that I used to remove the other one. I'm going to use that to tap this one in. These are very, very light metal, very easily bendable. So be very careful tapping this in. Nice, light, easy taps. Actually, to get this started, I'm going to use my bearing and seal driver, but I'm not putting the nut. I'm going to use the handle of my bearing and seal driver. This will slide right in here without catching on there. Let's see if I can do this keeping my hands kind of out of the way for you. And there, we get driven in that far. Now if you reach and feel inside here, you can feel this needs to go in another Probably eighth, sixteenth of an inch, maybe. So for that, we're going to go back to our socket. Get it lined up on there. And we'll just nice and easy drive that the rest of the way. That feels good. So now we're gonna clean this off, especially on this side. This is where the trim sender goes here. This is where the trim sender hooks up over here. So we really wanna get that Loctite Red cleaned out of there. Don't wanna get any of that into our trim sender. I don't know that it would cause a problem, but I can't imagine it would help anything. So let's just clean that up really good quick. Now we'll go ahead and slide our rod in. Remember this slot goes to the port side. I'm going to start it on the starboard side because if I have to tap on this at all, I want to hit on this end that does not have the trim sender on it. And I am going to need to a little bit. Oops. Make sure before you drive that through that you bring your tilt rod back up. You can kind of get an idea right here. Once you've got that slid into your tilt rod, Go ahead and tap that in the rest of the way. Once again, go gently. You don't want to, for some reason, catch on one of your new bushings and knock those out. Now this will be part I probably can't show on camera, but the next thing we're gonna have to do is line up our hole for our trilobe pin, for our trilobe pin. Probably won't be able to see this, but all I'm gonna do is shine a flashlight up in that hole, take a big screwdriver, and very gently rotate that until it lines up with the hole. Now all that's left to do once we get that hole lined up is drive our new trilobe pin in. And it does need to be new. Do not ever reuse these. Um, this is an interference fit. 
So by the time you drive it in and then take it back out, um, like we did at the beginning of this video, this will no longer seat properly. And if you, you reuse a pin, you stand a very good chance of this falling out. And then who knows what happens with your tilt trim as you're going down the lake. So very much a safety precaution. Never reuse one of these pins, only new ones. But yeah, let's just finish.